understand you're getting Cincinnati's famous cow. Yeah, um, we're, you know, everyone's so pleased about it, and it just shows the wonderful humanity that Cincinnati has. Artist Peter Max, who's best known for his cosmic 60s pop art, is thrilled he's getting our cow. He's even coming to Cincinnati for the opening day parade to meet her. I'd love to give her a little, little hug and look her right in the eyes. I have a photograph actually right now as we're talking, and she's a nice sweet little brown cow. Max knows she hasn't always been so sweet, but he says she's just acting like what she is, a teenager. He says she's going to a farm in upstate New York where she'll have plenty of friends. Now the cow's going to be able to roam free in, uh, in, in Watkins, Watkins Glen, which is a very, farm, a very large farm sanctuary where they have about a thousand animals that live out their life in total peace. The cow will be taken to New York in style. A heated carrier truck will take her sometime in the next couple of weeks. Max says it's a win-win situation for everybody, especially the cow. You know, you've got a great baseball team and it's a famous city. It's just like another flower in its lapel for having chosen to let a wonderful little animal like this go free.